Namaste and welcome to Live, Love, Engage. And today is a solo episode where I'm just going to be talking with you without having a guest on the show. And I wanted to chat with you about the importance of giving yourself grace to not get everything done or, or not to give in to the shoulds. You know, I really should be doing this. I really need to do this. I need to get this work done, but I don't feel like it. <laughs> um, we actually recently, I had um, Becca Laurie Hector on the program and she's an autism advocate and she talked about um, having about when you don't feel like doing something and and how to be able to when you know you still have to do something and how to be able to do it um, and she had some ideas about you know being creative or just actually giving yourself grace not to do it and I wanted to share my experience with that because yesterday I had this issue where there are a lot of things that I want to do in my business and I need to redo my autoresponder series just to give you some ideas about what I need to do. I, I need to, I wanted to create some new lead magnets, just a whole bunch of different things. And as I was pondering what to do first yesterday, what came up for me was just this feeling of overwhelm. <laughs> And I just felt like, ah, I can't, I can't, I don't want to do any of it because it's like, it's just too much. It was just too much. And I got into this paralysis mode. So first thing I did was I pulled out my journal and I said, hmm, what's going on here? <laughs> and I spent a couple of minutes journaling, didn't really get very far. And then I decided to go into, um, I belong to a Facebook group that um, it's, a, it's a coaching program that I'm in where we're uh, focused on abundance and, and it's, it's all about actually focusing on studying the science of getting rich. And so I listened to the coach in there. She had a, a, a video that she had recorded. And so I listened to that for a couple of minutes and that, that helped a little bit. I was starting to feel a little calmer at least and not feeling so overwhelmed and then I decided okay let me just check my email for a minute I'm just gonna go back through my email and because there was an email that I had seen from the morning that I ignored and it was um, from podcastguest.com which by the way if you either host a podcast or want to be a guest on a podcast sign up for their service because they offer a free service where they will email you once a week with a list of podcasts. So either people who are looking for guests, you can apply or, um, or you can be, uh, well, either, either way, you can either apply, either, either be a guest or apply to be a guest or actually uh, host your own. Okay. I'm losing my train of thought here, but anyway, the point being is I, I looked through there and, oh, you can look for guests for your program. That's what I was trying to say. Okay. <laughs> Which I've done. Um, and I've actually booked people on the show from, from that resource, but I was looking to appear as a guest on a podcast and I found one that I wanted to apply to. And, uh, what was cool about this particular podcast is they were looking for someone to talk about um, different ways that you're creative and how you use that creativity, how it helps you in life or business. And so I, in the little bio section where I was applying, I, it says, you know, what's relevant. And so I talked about the fact that I've been uh, using, I've been tapping into my, my musical abilities that I have, and I've been, doing things like writing a song. Um, I've been playing the organ, I've been playing the guitar, and just putting music back in my life again. I've had been ignoring it for a long time. And so I'm getting back to my roots, what I used to do as a kid. And doing that exercise made me feel good. 
And I also decided, okay, I'm gonna go grab a cup of tea. So I went down, I made myself a cup of tea. And as I was doing that, ideas started popping into my head about creating a lead magnet. And the reason why I wanted to do a specific lead magnet is because I was, I'm scheduled to do a presentation at a networking group next week where I'm gonna be talking about blogging. And I thought, hmm, let's see, what could I do? What could I create that would be useful that I could offer the attendees a, a freebie and then I, in exchange, they would be on my email list. And I came up with uh, an idea that I could create an infographic about all the different ways that you can repurpose your blog content. And I know I'd written articles about this in the past, so I had the material there. It was just a way to create a graphic about it, which, by the way, an infographic is a great way to repurpose your blog content. <laughs> so, um, and doing podcasts are also a good way. So, <laughs> see, I'm, see I'm, I'm demonstrating it right now. Anyway, I was really energized by that. So I came back upstairs, got down, sat down at my desk and got my cup of tea. I got logged onto Canva, which is a great resource for creating graphics. And they had a nice template there and I banged out a lead magnet. And I do say so myself, I'm very happy with the results for it. And in fact, I will probably offer this on my website in the near future. The point being <laughs> that I want to make here is that when you get that feeling of overwhelm, sometimes you can, you know, kind of get your way through it. But I find that a better way is to wait until you're inspired to do that work. So if you're not inspired, if you are forcing it, that is your higher self telling you step away <laughs> take a break for a couple minutes and so see i did a couple things that were really productive for my business they just weren't the original thing that i felt like i needed to do at that moment but they were things that are going to benefit my business i applied to be a guest on the podcast i created a new lead magnet that i can use at the speaking presentation next week and today, because I did that work today, I've been more uh, in the flow of starting to work on my primary lead magnet, which is again, one of the things that I wanted to do. It, it's gonna be a new lead magnet that I am gonna offer on my website. So because I was able to give myself the grace yesterday to say, okay, let's just do something different. Then today I was able to go back in and start working on this other project. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> so anyway, the, the lesson here is just take a break sometimes and, and go do something different. Make yourself a cup of tea, go for a walk, listen to some music, do something to just give yourself space and then it can free up the creativity that wants to come out and perhaps it'll come out in a different way or it'll come out the next day because if it's not something that really absolutely has to be done today odds are you can tackle it tomorrow and it's going to be okay again if it's something that it really is on a deadline then sometimes you do have to buckle down and just say okay, let me just take a quick walk, <laughs> you know, walk around the block or walk around your office and then come back in, put on some music and get, get her done, as they say. But if you've got the space to give yourself time, then do that. In fact, I was uh, messaging someone who joined my Facebook group today and asking her what's her greatest challenge and it's time management. And she's having the same thing where she feels like there's so many things that she wants to get done. And yet at the same time, sometimes she just wants to sleep. And sometimes that's the best thing to do is to just go ahead and take a nap. This year, 2020 has been incredibly stressful. Even if 
you've always worked from home and so it's not like you're suddenly working from home. Maybe you've got a loved one working from home now, like I do. My husband's been working from home since March. So it's been, what, five months now <laughs> that he's been home. That's different. My routine is a little bit different. I have to close my door when he's having meetings with his work because his voice carries. And so I've had to adjust. And sometimes there are days when it stresses me out a little bit, just, just that little bit of a different thing and different energy going on. And that's okay, as long as you then find ways to take care of you and, and practice self-care. Like I finally went back and I've gotten, I got a massage a couple of weeks ago because I hadn't had one in about six months. And I said, you know what, it's time. I, I need this for me. I need to be able to relax and, and let go of the stress. So take some time for you. Do that. And do the things that really light you up. That's, that's the other point. That's the other point I want to make, too. When you are feeling overwhelmed, then do something else that feels good. Do something that you like to do, even if it's just for five minutes. So if you like to, whatever it is, uh, you know, if you like to read a book, you know, go read something not business related, maybe, you know, read something fun or go pet your cat or play with your dog or whatever it is, but just go do something that lights you up. Because once you shift that energy and you have, are back in a higher vibration, then again, it, it's going to allow that the creative part of you to start coming through again. And, and it, it sort of frees this log jam that your, your brain is, is creating because it's like all these competing things that you have to do. And it, it, you get like really tight. So when you can open up and do something that you like, then it just opens the floodgates. And it's a really great way to be. So I hope that is of value for you today. And uh, I just wanted to share that with you. So, um, oh, I want to just suggest to you, or actually just remind you that uh, the next episode, I will have a guest. In fact, uh, the next episode, I'm gonna have Laura Doyle on Live, Love, Engage. And she is a relationship expert. She is, in particular, she helps women fix their relationships with their men um, without their man's conscious effort so that they feel desired, taken care of, and special no matter how hopeless it seems. Um, so she is really um, an expert. She has been on uh, Amazon Prime. She's actually had her own series. <laughs> um, she's created online programs, live events. She's got her own, she has her own podcast as well. And um, it was a really interesting uh, interview that I did with her uh, not too long ago. So be sure that you uh, tune in for that because that will be, that'll be the next episode after this one. So you don't want to miss that. And until next time, I uh, hope that you will check out uh, live, love, engage podcast.com so that you'll be able to, if you've missed any of our past episodes, you'll be able to catch up there. And that's also where you'll find all the show notes and everything. And also, if you ever want to chat with me about your business, um, things going on in your life where maybe you're challenged with time management or uh, just maybe just feeling stuck in your life or your business, go to engagewithgloria.com and schedule an appointment with me because I would love to be able to chat with you and see if I can't help you get unstuck in a particular area. And until next time, I, this is Gloria Grace Rand, and I, as always, encourage you to go out and live fully, love deeply, and engage authentically.